Hey guys, so um, if you're wondering why this is happening with my hair, it's because I'm getting it done today. Woo! And we, me and my hairstylist, were very inspired by, well, why don't you come in here and talk about it? Hello. This is Robert Tina, not to be confused with Tina Turner. Tinta Turner. <laughs> so today, Robert, what are we doing? We are gonna turn you into a beautiful Sprite can. We saw this in a store. We didn't really actually, no. this is all me. I just picked up a few Sprite cans just to give you guys some imagery of what we're working with today. You did read the title right. I am transforming into a Sprite living queen. I just thought like, what have I not done with my hair? I have not done yellow and I have not done green. So like what better day to do it than right now when my right. hair looks this bad and I have nothing to lose. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna color it and it's gonna be so much better and I'm gonna feel like a human again. Inspired by Sprite, so therefore we're doing, what are we doing? We're doing like a half We're gonna moment. do half green, mm -hmm. half yellow, where they all intersect in the middle. She's gonna and be like, large. Somebody should honestly just do a reaction video reacting to how bad my hair looks right now because I deserve all the hate. Please leave a hate comment about my hair right now. Please just on my life. I understand. I always tell everybody else their hair looks bad and honestly mine has never looked worse. But I did it because I want to get a transformation. So it was all for you guys. You're welcome. I look like shit for you. Okay so this, this is the original logo. So like I want to do a little like line thing and then do like a green and a yellow but like bright. So if you want to see that and I wouldn't understand if you wouldn't want to see. Why, would Why you wouldn't see you? That? I don't know. You're crazy. All right, Robertina, are you ready to do my hair? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited, Robert. I'm so excited. I'm so excited here. not to look ugly anymore. I know, honey. You guys have no idea how my confidence has just <sighs> plummeted over the past few weeks because when my hair doesn't look good, I feel like the ugliest human being in the entire. Let's beat this mop. So you guys, you'll finally get to see how I get my hair so white. Obviously it's not white anymore. My hair lightens really easily, so that's kind of my secret. People are always like, wait, why does your hair get so white and mine doesn't? I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with like the technique. It's just like- She's blessed. It's just, I have a light color. Like, mm, it's like level six. Yeah, I'd say like- Level seven. Six and a half, seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like prime color for- Prime color for, for this. For bleaching. Totally. Oh my God, I've never looked better. Yeah. <laughs> Give me Katoa. Oh my God, I look so bad. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> oh my God, I'm embarrassed. All right, so we're gonna first mix up what? Our beautiful guy Tang mm -hmm. cream lightener. I love this lightener, you guys. I'm forcing him to use it for the first time and he's gonna love it. I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting to try it. It lightens so white and mm -hmm. fast. It's just easier to apply. So we're gonna use 40 volume first in the back of my head with Olaplex, mm -hmm. which is gonna make it into a 30 volume. Yes. So we just put a little 1 16th of an ounce of Olaplex with our 40 volume guy Tang. My identity. My identity. My identity. So how's your technique? So normally with my double processes, I like to start right at the apex of the head and then work my way down the back. And then that's when I start working on my front because this hair around the hairline's a little bit more fragile than everything else. We want to make sure she keeps all her hair. Oh, also, did I already say I haven't got my hair cut in like months and months? Six months, you said? Six months, yeah. I was planning on growing it out really long and now I don't want to. So getting it cut again today. See, you guys always think like, I think I'm perfect. I never have bad hair. I never like mess up anything. No, listen, I have bad hair too. I have bad hair moments. We all do. A lot of hairstylists have bad hair because we don't care for ourselves. We care for other people. Right. Hello? But it's like <laughs> they program you in school to mm -hmm. like, really pay attention to other people's hair. Yeah. And it's like, and I walk down the street and I'm just like clocking everybody mm. I see. Do we have any clippies? What's it like being a hairstylist in New York City? Amazing, actually. If I could go back and talk to Berta in cosmetology school. Should we show your teacher? No, that's me. Oh. Berta, Robert, right. Berta, come on. <laughs> Like, she would literally be shook. You know, I always told my cosmetology teacher, I was like, I'm moving to New York. She's like, okay. You know why I had to retake the test again in New York? Why? Because I only had my license for a year when I moved here. And to transfer from Massachusetts to New York, it's like four years experience you need to have with a license. Oh, so yeah. I had to retake the test. Like, go in, do a mannequin, do all this shit. 
when I've already been doing hair for like so long, even before I got my license. Gross. It was so awful. I don't remember all those like nail diseases and all that kind of stuff. Like it would just it's be the so specifics. Hard. You guys, cosmetology tests are so hard. It's like all anatomy and diseases and like you'd think you're being like gonna be a doctor or something. You name it, we have to do it mm -hmm. and it it's intense. Just working in New York City too. Mm -hmm. Everybody here that's a hairstylist wants to be the best hairstylist. The best. So there's a lot of personalities, a lot of attitude. You have to definitely have to pay your dues as an assistant. You really do. Y'all, so there's some people out there that think I'm not a real hairstylist, which is the funniest thing to me. It was brought to my attention that there's Reddit articles that say I'm not a real hairstylist, which is so comical because the amount of go through to get to this point is stupid. Just like licenses and everything. Like, like I just said, I had to get two different licenses in two different states. I had to go to school. I had to work at my dad's salon for forever. Like as an assistant when I was like 13 to 18. Then I worked in salons in New York and then I did freelance. Like there's just so much stuff. Like be told I'm not a hairstylist is like absolutely absurd. So all of you that think I'm not a hairstylist and get off my channel. Thank you. Bye. Anyways. Yeah. yeah, I met this one when she was an assistant. We were oh, both assistants we were both at the same time. Assistants. It was so weird to go from being kind of a big deal in my salon back home in South Carolina. And then nobody gives a about you here. Oh, I thought I was hot. And then like looking back now at when I first moved here, I was like, I didn't know a thing. New Elementary. York City's at another level of like hair. Mm -hmm. We all came here to do the best hair in the world. You know? Exactly. There's always that one girl who wants stripes. Always! This one girl wanted stripes for me and I was like, I am not doing stripes. I'm not letting you walk the streets with my hair color looking like that. Right, but see, that's the biggest thing that people don't realize is it's our names that are attached to your head. Even though you want something very specific like stripes, if it isn't gonna look good, we don't wanna do it, mm -hmm. you know? Because it's like, you're gonna run into some girl on the street and she's gonna be shady and be like, where'd you get your color done? Mm -hmm. And then she's gonna look it up and she's gonna be like, oh my God, this is I am horrible. never going I'm there. never going there. I was just always overbooked to the max and just wild. Where the point where they would like just shove clients in your face and you're like, I literally can't do another one. Right. And they'd be like, no, you're doing it. So walk us through the inspiration. <laughs> Hi, sister. Hi, hi, queen. I'm just filming right now. I'm coming tomorrow. I'm planning on like being there around like 11. We're gonna slumber tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a girls' night in. <laughs> are you okay with that? All right, the monos have to go out though. Like, what are people gonna do if the monos aren't out? Right. The city would shut down. <laughs> it would be a crisis. There, there would be a power outage. <laughs> All right, sweetheart, you keep me young. <laughs> All right, sweetie, you're doing great. Right, bye. <laughs> Bye. What have you been doing in the salon a lot lately? Are we seeing new trends? It's really shifting back into like natural wearable mm -hmm. hair, yeah. which I love. Haircuts are moving a little bit more edgy where I feel like maybe like a year, two years ago, your color's edgy and your haircut's boring. Mm -hmm. Now it's more like, let's have an edgy haircut with like a really beautiful natural color. Mm -hmm. And I'm so here for that. It's funny. <laughs> All my have I ever told there, you my like, like, drunk uh, alter ego's name? She is the epitome of white trash. No, what is it? Her name's Tammy. Of course. Legit Tammy. I'm like, you know. Do you know how many Tammies are probably watching? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're Tammy, you're probably a wild girl, and I love wild, her. wild. Yeah, she's getting on top of the bar. Shoot. She's taking her top off. Ooh. So you go, Tammy. <laughs> you go, you Tammy. Rock, girl. And to Ashley and Rebecca and Brittany out there, you rock too, girl. You rock it. <laughs> I'm more of a Brittany myself. You know. Yeah. You always have to praise your drunk self. Mm -hmm. So that way they take care of you. Mm -hmm. If you don't praise your drunk self. No. no. Who else is gonna love your drunk self? Exactly. When I wake up in the morning and I like have my wallet and my phone, my, like oh. my life basically. It's a good morning. Oh, that's when I'm like, Tammy, thank you. You looked out for me, girl. <laughs> no, you look, Tammy. Tammy. <laughs> thank like you. Tammy. Thanks, girl. Your profile is amazing. It's kind of fishy. It really is. Honey, this like jawline right here. It's all here. the work that I got done. Bam. Ah, it's finally paying off. It's working!
Robertina just finished. Yes, ma'am. My double process with 30 and 40 volume bleach. And now we're gonna wait 45 minutes. I'm gonna put a plastic bag on my head, rinse it out, and then a haircut. And then let's do haircut, the and, and then, then we're gonna do the green and yellow. Sprite inspired moment. So get ready, kids. We're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm an influencer. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> oh, I have to go to the side. <laughs> Voila! Oh my god, I'm so blonde! You're so blonde! Draco Malfoy. Oh. It's home. So, as you can see, we just finished my color. I'm feeling like the old Brad again. Um, but not for long, because we're gonna do something a little crazy. We're gonna do a sped up little haircut moment for you guys. It's a little snippy snip. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm blonde again. Oh my God. Come over now. I'm two blocks away. I'm coming over. I'll see you then. I could not imagine you not having like a southern accent. A southern accent. accent? Like what if I just bust it out in like a British accent? Can you do that just like a regular like American? <laughs> like no southern, just make it like regular. Yeah, I just talk like this. No, you still sound do southern. I don't know how to do it. Who am I? <laughs> Haircut is done. 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 And now we're gonna mix up some cola. Wait, why am I talking like that? I'm like so annoying. So we're gonna use Pulp Riot. Yes, ma'am. Today. Never use it. He has. Amazing. You like it? I okay. love it. Um, and we're gonna use amethyst and lemon. That's absinthe. Absinthe? Because amethyst is not green, is it? It's purple. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna do uh, one side with the lemon, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna mix a little bit of the absinthe with the lemon to make it like a limey yes. lime green. Yes, ma'am. Great. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. She's dark. She's real dark. Should we just do that? Yep. This looks good. It literally looks like the color on a Sprite can. I think that's pretty much... That's almost spot on. Wow. Yes, Girl, that is really spot on, right? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh my god, I'm gonna be a sprite yes. angel. <laughs> this looks a little frightening, but um, we're gonna go for it. Let's do it. Why not? All right, show them what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna do a nice little squiggle in the monitor. Should we do like a hardcore squiggle in the front though? Should we like start over here? Do you want to start all the way over here? Wait, what did I just do? No. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Seriously. Wait, okay, now we're That's working, working right? in with grease. If I do this? <laughs> Am I gonna look like an idiot? I feel like it, this is making me a little nervous. I'm scared. It's okay. I'm already coloring my hair green and yellow, so. It's the hardest part of the entire thing. Wait, is this like too green? No, oh, it's the exact color. Yeah, but do we want to do like lime green? It smells good. It does, I do like the way it smells. Okay, that'll be fine. Yep. That's it, right? We feel comfortable with this? Yeah. So here's the outline. We're just gonna, we're gonna go a little like wavy. Cause like the old Sprite can have it. Why do I want to be a Sprite can? You guys, I don't know a lot of things that happen in my life, like why they happen, but it felt right today. So I'm going for it. Okay? Yeah. I don't even like soda. We're going for it. But Sprite, if you want to sponsor me, I'm here for you, girl. All right, you can email my manager. She can be my rates. I'm ready for this. Ooh! Yes! That is so satisfying. That is so satisfying. <laughs> me one day. I'm not a YouTuber anymore. <laughs> Yo, if that ain't the Sprite can color, I don't know what is. Seriously. Uh, get with me, get at me, whatever it is. Oh my god, it looks so cool. I'm green. <laughs> okay, yellow time. Oh! 
Oh my God, that is so bright. That is so bright. I literally look like a Sprite can. Well, wow, mission accomplished. Whoa. Are you seeing it? Bam, <laughs> on the money. We can say not adventurous. <laughs> no. Roberto just finished my lemon lime sprite inspired look. So we're gonna actually didn't finish it. We're gonna let this process for 20 minutes and I'll be right back. <laughs> <coughs> so it's a lot. And it's kind of sickening. <laughs> look at this! Ah! Okay, this is definitely the most wild color I've ever done in my entire existence. Honey, we did it. We're kind of living for it though. Like it's definitely not for everybody. Um, and we definitely achieved my lemon lime sprite fantasy minus the blue, but it's okay, you get the idea. <laughs> oh my god, this is wild. She's like, and you did such an amazing job. Thank baby. you, baby. You like you slayed it, you slayed my haircut, you slayed my color. <gasps> Make sure you guys follow Robert on Instagram. It'll be linked below. He does amazing hair. You can see his work. He also works at Heroin Salon in New York City. So if you guys want to visit him, he does amazing color. Not just stuff like this. I know this is very wild, but he does like very natural, beautiful color also, which you can see on his Instagram. Okay, Robert, let's go eat some food Please. and go oh. show off this crazy look. Let me know what you guys think below. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Thanks guys. <sighs> Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace.